Hey, Chris and Travis here again with Detecticam. In a previous video, we showed you our new microsphere heater used to safely extract a hazardous explosive from microspheres that were developed in conjunction with the University of Rhode Island. So in today's video, we're going to show you the combination of using our microsphere heater and our new handheld explosive detector called the Seeker E. So we're gonna take you through a full demonstration. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna turn the power button on, on the heater. It's going to boot up in a matter of seconds. You're going to take your microspheres and a Q-tip and put them into a glass ampule. You're then going to put that into the heater device itself and say start heater. So to do that you're going to hit enter and what it's going to do then is it's going to heat up to a predetermined amount that has been engineered to release the TATP from the microspheres. So this takes roughly about 50 seconds depending on the heat setting and what we'll do then is once that's done We'll be able to take the Q-tip and rub it on either a explosive detection swab or then you can use it as we mentioned earlier with the canine. So what we're going to do is we're going to take our card for the Seeker E, remove it from its bag, and we'll then rub that Q-tip onto the swab pad area and then use the Seeker E to analyze it. Uh, TATP is a peroxide explosive, so it's going to fall in the Seeker E's group 4-5, which is chlorates and peroxides determination level and we'll show you that once we run the test. So we've got about two more seconds here on the heater device and heating's complete. You can hit exit so it'll go back and reset. You can then remove it from the glass ampule. We can put the glass ampule back and rub the explosive that's present on the Q-tip onto the card pad. Okay. What then this allows us to do is take the card pad and put it into the device. So we're going to say run test. It's going to turn on the barcode. We'll be able to scan that knowing that we're running an explosive card. We'll insert the explosive detection card into the device and it's going to verify the system, check the card, and then ask us to crush. So once we crush the, crush the sample card, it's going to start the test automatically on the Seeker E. What this is going to do is then look for a color change that's presented when TATP comes in contact with the color metric chemicals uh, developed by to detect him. So we've got a few seconds in which allows this reaction to take place and again we normally wouldn't be able to do this if we didn't have the spheres releasing the TATP. The spheres allow for safe transport and safe containment of the TATP until released by the heater. So we've got an explosive determination. We can continue to analyze to get a grouping on and see whether it's that 4-5 detection that we were looking for from the TATP that's been released. So we're continuing to analyze with the Seeker E. We're taking further detection and further measurements and you can see that the line's deviating meaning we have more color change. That beep you just heard is a finishing of the detection and you can see that we've got a strong indication for group 4-5. So if we click on group 4-5 we'll see that in group 5 we've got TATP which is what we released from the microsphere heater. So that shows you exactly how to utilize the microsphere heater with an explosive detection device. That's it. Thanks guys. For more information you can visit our website at detecticam.com or just give us a call. Thank you.